I think we can all agree that this is a pretty unpleasant sight. Hello everybody and happy Wednesday. So there's a video that Dove released this week that's starting to get really big. And the premise is that there's this FBI sketch artist who asks some women to come in and then he draws them based solely on their description. Then he draws another version based on the description given by someone else. Then he shows the women both sketches and as you might expect, the one that they described is less appealing. Now Dove has sort of spearheaded this real beauty thing where they rail against Photoshop and they talk about how people can be attractive even if they don't conform to society's absurd standards. And I have to say this really bothers me even though it's a brilliant campaign because everyone goes, oh thank you Dove for suggesting that our standards for beauty are absurd. The reason this works though is because everyone, regardless of how attractive they are, somehow seems to feel that they fall short. Dove isn't challenging some social construct, they're simply telling everybody what they want to hear. And there's a part of the video that really infuriates me. One of the women says, I really need to start appreciating my natural beauty, it affects the friends that we make and the jobs we apply for and the way that we treat our kids. And this is where Dove's campaign really gets exposed for what it is. It's not an attack on our standards of beauty, it's an invitation for more people to partake in vanity. Now I should also say I am aware that I'm not held to the same cultural standards, I can walk around as a 350 pound overweight male and not be judged for it. But I have to confess that I am self-conscious, that's one of the reasons that I wear sweaters in these videos. I did one where I wore a t-shirt and my man boobs stuck out and I, my, my stomach went crazy and I, 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 I can't watch it. It's, it, it makes me feel terrible. And so I wear sweaters and sometimes I'll wear a dark blazer to try and hide things a little bit more. And uh, that's one of the reasons that my, my hair is so long is to sort of frame the face and make it seem not quite as wide as it is. Um, and the, the same with the beard, it's there mostly to hide my double chin. And to be even more honest, I was expecting to get trolled off of YouTube within the first few months. Now at the same time, it's also something that has made me more outgoing. One of the reasons that I am so gregarious and I talk so quickly and fast is that I want you to perceive me on my terms. And there's a fear that if I don't grab your attention, you're going to judge me based off of this. But that's the important point. I don't identify with my physical appearance. My physical appearance is a problem, but I'm not. And that's, I think, what bothers me so much about this Dove campaign is that they are all about celebrating natural beauty, but physical beauty. And sure, I have some natural attributes that I can be proud of. I have nice voluminous hair. I have expressive eyebrows. I have high cheekbones. See? But should that really affect my life? Should it affect the friends that I have, the jobs I apply for, and the way I treat my future kids? Of course not. This has no more to do with who I am than this does. Even if you are completely satisfied with your appearance, it should not affect your self-worth. And this is the problem that I have with Dove's idea of redefining attractive. You are an amazing gift to us all. Who gives a shit about the wrapping paper? I'm sorry for the language. That's gonna do it for me. I would really, really love to know what you guys think about this. So leave me a comment or a video response. I'll open those up again. I'd really love to know whether you agree or whether you have a different perspective. I'm curious to see where people stand on this. As always, have a fantastic Wednesday and I will see you on Friday. I think we can all agree that this is a pretty unpleasant sight.